process. Welcome everyone. It looks like 715, 615 to me. Um, what's the computer say? 614. 614. So yeah. I'll talk slow. 14 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've um, posted this agenda at three places publicly and on the website and emailed interested parties, correct? So we can move forward. Um, and was it the 12th of September here? And we have the prior meeting minutes from August 22 of 2022. And I, it looked good, except I found um, one correction on page two in the middle of the paragraph where I left out um, that um, remediation um, is not by the property. It should also say owner after that. Um, but otherwise, it looked good to me. Anyone else have any corrections? No. You had something about ARPA funds. Was that on that one? On the ARPA funds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just that we take out the word maybe because we did use some ARPA funds on that. On we were three. going to use ARPA funds. Okay. We weren't going to use all of John's money on that. So we we'll take out the word some. On the, we'll take out the word some? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I've moved to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, cool. And um, we have um, some officers from the fire department here with um, something to speak about, right? Well, Hands the big thing is uh, our jaws are 20 years old, and they've got an upgrade kit that they can do now. You send it in and uh, make it all cordless, we'll get rid of bunch of weight like 80 pounds 68 pounds so we get they make it 100 percent cordless so there's right now you have a battery pack and then you got 10 12 feet cord 10 12 feet cord mm -hmm. heavy cord so to make it work and they got this introduction out to take you can use everything on ours they rebuilt it refurbish it for about six grand but we just don't have the money to do it. But it is 20 years old, and next year we'd have to send it in. Without that, we'd put at least 3,000 into it. I think I, last time we sent it in, it cost me 2,500. What, send it in just for refurbishing? Or yeah, to okay. do an upkeep on it. So that upkeep would happen in the process of upgrading it? Right, I can. What is it that they do to? <clears throat> upkeep it it's a huge this, this is what we have is one of these mm -hmm. and this holes and it'll all be gone and you just have this unit now oh i see yep so they rebuild this handle and stuff and this here gets all rebuilt it's uh so is the battery just incorporated it's, into the unit itself then? it's they're chargeable just like this sort of be your batteries right here yeah they just, just plug into the top of it yeah. just like any battery tool huh? right much. how how many batteries come with that theory two two so you always have one ready so what do you use for a battery now like a it's a regular 12 volt car battery okay. or oh. not quite that big but right. probably that like that yeah like a HIV or something. so it's heavy yeah. it's okay. a little bit bigger it's big it's a big I got motorcycle. It. like what you do is a ton of hard work yeah yeah and so it requires two people because somebody has to carry the battery around right. and somebody else runs the jobs so right. this so one you is, can't really hand it across to somebody right. because it's, walk right this so is moving into lithium yeah. correct yes yes yeah. but that's what it is right there to do the upgrade and we'd have to spend probably half of that pretty soon just Hold to on, Martha. update the, uh, the unit or just maintenance, you're saying? Right. Yeah. Next year we'd have to. Yeah. So I, I can't see put, I mean, we, we, we just thinking, we just don't have the money. Mm -hmm. I mean, in our budget to come up with six grand, yeah. as you know, the extra money we got right now is earmarked for mm -hmm. the new truck. Right. So we're here to see if you folks would like to donate some of that money 
I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought reinforcements because I just didn't want to do it on my own. You strong You got to use the jaws of life on our budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think that. We read up on it pretty this, good, and I think yeah. it's a good thing. Well, this is a breakdown of what we spent on ARPA mm -hmm. this year mm -hmm. and how this was the original payment. We had 160000 Right. And this is what we have left of that original hundred of the original, and we still have. And, we, got the and this is like yeah. adding this in. This is what we actually have now after the addition to. Except for we haven't wrote the check to pay for the paving down at the mm -hmm. town garage. Mm -hmm. So there, there's roughly about this amount left in there. About a hundred four thousand. Yes. Yeah. So I don't. I don't see any problem with. I, I think it's um. Money well spent. Yep. I agree. Good. Yep. And I think Martha had a question. I okay. You Martha, you have a question out there? And you're on mute, Martha. You're on mute, Martha. There you go. I'm sorry. I thought, um, I heard here, I heard Terry say Jaws, and I thought he must mean Jaws of Life, and I heard you say it just after I started waving my hand. Um, so that's what you mean is the Jaws of Life. Yes. Right. Okay, thank yeah. you. I just wanted to make sure I was correct about that, sorry. Yeah, you got it. Did we okay. have ARPA funds earmarked for anything else for the fire department? Uh, we, we, the only thing I know that I had on the list for them was if they needed more funds to refurbish the truck. It's going to depend on what we get for our truck. Pad? Right. It, and we, yeah, we're with a lot that, some more. I think the it. total that's gone to the fire department now has been uh, for the air pump was 15750 And then if we do this, that'll make 21000 to them. Um, I don't see a problem with it personally. I mean, it, it'll save down the road, and we don't have the money in the in the reserve yeah. funds. I don't believe. Is there any money in those? No, in that? that for very little. Yeah, very little. Yeah, so that'll go towards the truck anyway, or if we need some. But so, we really aren't going to know what we get for our truck until the other one. Right. Mm. I mean, that's just right. Just the way it is. Yeah, I heard eight months to eight years before you get a truck. Um, <laughs> so you feel the fire department feels this is the best use of that $6,000, that there isn't another place that you would like, you would go, God, I wish we'd done that. This is the no, best. No, it's just that all of our tools are getting old. I mean, I got Me too. And, well, you know, we got a couple <laughs> nozzles of changing. And, you know, what a fire nozzle, an inch and a half nozzle is, about thousand dollars. Right. So is and, that is that? And is, we're going to take. Why we're buying a couple, but we're taking that out of our budget. That was in our budget. Okay. I just want. So to this is something that we don't have in the budget, and we figured it out, and they're twenty, about twenty years old. When we did mm -hmm. the raising money out, and a new one is about seventeen six. Well, we're keeping an eye on the rest of the ARPA funds, and we want to make the best use out of all those funds. I think funds. this is a great so use, just for safety it's and not an endless pot. There will be an end. Right, so. and I don't think we've been asking for an endless pot. I mean, yeah. this is we got to reserve some for sewer system. Well, this is a limited time thing. It may not be around next year. This. This offer? Yeah, it's yeah. a promotion they're doing. Mm -hmm. to get the older yep. tools out and reserve. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah. I'm perfectly yeah. fine with it. Yeah. No, I, I, I move to uh, approve that expenditure of the ARPA funds. I second it. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Thank you guys for Thank you. Thank you very much. being willing to yeah. jump out of bed and go take care of situations that arise and just makes it safer and easier. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Save It'll save yeah. the, you know, the one is earmarked for some. Martha? Sorry to bug you, but it, you you voted to approve, uh, so it basically should say that you voted to approve $6,000 of ARPA funds 
to um, give to the public, to give to the fire department to yeah what um, was the replace, total amount there it's like replace their jobs of life thousand so it would bring yes. that, on the quote it was like yes Martha six thousand dollars five thousand nine hundred and so five thousand nine hundred and eighty. Five okay, so five thousand nine hundred and eighty, yeah. and it's two, and it should say five thousand nine hundred and eighty to replace their jaws of life. No, no. to, to um, refurbish, to re, um, refurbish. Upgrade. refurbish and upgrade, and refurbish cordless. And upgrade. Yes, to yeah. upgrade their jaws of life to make it cordless. No. Would that be correct? It cordless. It will be. It, it will. We're upgrading okay. the, the one of the. All right. To be, one of the major so things is upgrading the battery, Martha, like, like okay. swapping out the, the AAAs for a lithium battery. So it's okay, so you voted to approve the 5980 to refurbish and upgrade the Jaws of Life. Is that correct? That's, yes. That's it. That's all. Great. Okay, great. Sorry to bother you. I just no. want to make sure I got correct. I was no. slightly confused. No, we got it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Late, late yeah. tonight. Possibly. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate everything yeah, that you did yeah. too. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a. Uh, we're going to review the treasurer's report. That's on the agenda. Did you have something oh, that you yeah. wanted to say about that, Julie? <laughs> <laughs> I've been putting it in there every week, but I don't know if it's still in there. <laughs> oh, it, it might, might be in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's in the back. I don't. I cleaned it out. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, it's not there, oh, so I guess we're a little off today. Yeah. We are. <laughs> okay. It's a little hot. All right. We'll we'll, we'll um we'll um Table. Table revisit that. <laughs> Um, we do have a couple park use applications. One um, from the White River Valley Players. That's um, a cemetery. Oh, it's application for use of the town cemetery. Just kind of, you're right, and that is That's for. That's not on the agenda. Hmm? Well, it was park use. Yes, yeah, outdoor theater. So they're they're oh. modified because we usually don't have. Um, they, they applications for use of the cemetery, oh, so but they're for considering Halloween that a yeah. town park. It's for a, a theatrical production, um, for it would be a um, kind of ex exploring some of the history that um, resides in the cemetery. Um, and it's a fall show on Should October 22nd and 23rd. If they want to approve that. Hmm? Should we bring the cemetery commission? Cemetery, in on Nancy, that? do you want to have some? The insight? cemetery commission gave them permission to do it. Okay, so the cemetery, yeah. Yeah, I thought they'd talk with you about that. So I'd move to approve. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And the second one. Um, is for the park um, and for a concert in the park um, dedicated to the life and music of the grandfather um, Speedy Wyman. Um, the application is Daniel Wyman. Um, he's a singer and plays fiddle and guitar. Um, all are invited to hear music and dance, family and children appropriate. And this would be for the 8th of October. Columbus from 12 to 3. Mm -hmm. And um, sounds good to me. I approve it. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Um, Tony is not here with us today, and nor um, Cooter, but um, we did. Um, finally finished the paving around the installation of the stormwater control system down by the town garage and the new paving is very popular with the skateboarding crowd. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? I thought they were done working. But no, it's skateboarding. Yeah. Um, and uh, they started uh, accumulating sand again for the winter. I know Kuda was a little anxious to, like, for them to finish up the work so they could start you know, building that pile up. So that is, that is happening. Um, Dana is scheduled for uh, jury duty. He's yeah, yeah. A couple of days, and uh, yeah. so we'll have to figure out how to 
deal with that. We'll have to look at the. So they give you, um, <clears throat> if you get, so they give you thirty dollars a day. Yeah. And I think that it was. Um, he had mentioned something about the town possibly um, offsetting the the lack of income. I, I think we'll have to look at the yeah. policy yeah, and see what we can in do. It's in the, isn't that. it in the personnel policy? I think it yeah, is so in the personnel policy. I think policy. so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. reading it the other day. It's a little confusing, but. Yeah. yeah. But we'll, I told them we'd figure something out, so not yeah. to yeah. be overly concerned. Okay. Hopefully yeah. he doesn't get selected. Right. If right. it is, we'll have to write it yeah. because it'll be in October. Yeah, what if you got in for one of those year long but yeah. if get, things? Yeah. If they don't get selected, so, they don't get called yeah. again. Um, I don't know to what extent, if that did go into winter, there are, I mean, there's uh, extenuating right. circumstances if this is someone in, in charge of the safety of the whole town for being one of a three-man road crew, I would think that would give some yeah, we good argument. He could mention way. that yeah, during the selection that. process. Yes. We'd have to probably yeah. draft something to yeah. verify that, yeah. but yeah. we could do that. But I think I go. He's going tomorrow for the first stop installment, and then I think it's in another two days he has to go. Yeah, it's it's twice this week. It doesn't mean he's going to get Where's selected. Where's he going? Is he going I, with Woodstock? I, I don't know. He didn't Stop. tell me. The White River. I didn't. The White River. I heard the White River. Yeah. I wouldn't that's be surprised if that's where he's yeah. going. He didn't say, uh, and I didn't ask, so. Jessica's but I just said we, he was more concerned about his pay. She's going to Woodstock. wife is, too. <laughs> so so they, they, they hit up Rochester. Yeah, they hit Rochester hard this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, Terry, you got anything on the utilities front? No. No. That's good. Are you all set with the paving? Everything's good there, right? I don't know. I marked it again today, so I'm hoping they pay attention. They don't seem to mark all the covers, so I pay attention. Yeah, yeah. So when they get whacked up, and I told them, I said, if I have to dig this up, I said, it's on you, it's not me. He's right. I said, because I, I right. showed you guys, you know, three times. Mark these out four or five times now. I said, it seems like somebody ought to write it down on a piece of paper. Right. They ought to know. But it. they don't. I mean, down by Bobby's, they only marked two of them this last time. Oh, really? And this morning I went down and dug out the other one and marked it. Marked it. It looks like uh, talking to the pike guy this morning, he was saying that they're going to be stepping the pavement out through the village a little bit. You know, so they're. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of a pedestrian spot and bike spot there. Yeah, so I don't know what they're going to do like Old Bud's Bean House. There's two valves there, and they didn't, I don't think they can do anything there. The mailboxes are there, and that telephone pole is there. So. Yeah, I, I think they're stepping it out where they can is the way I, I took yeah. that, it which would like be nice. It's pretty good out there in front of the Pierce Hall. I mean, they stepped out. Yeah, they yeah. Up four feet there. Today yeah. from Stockbridge in someone did red marks everywhere on the road. Right, they marking the road for the paver. Right. So we can see what they did. Is that the area road. in front of the library going to be dealt with? Yeah, has to be. They're going to pave right up to the grass. So I don't know how they're going to leave the what they dug out. You know, that's going to be up to up to them. Do you have a call? They do. Martha has it. Yeah, Martha. Hi, um, this has to do with that paving coming, going through the village, and I know it's the state doing it, but um, when we had a harvest fair, I noticed it was, um, there was a, um, a section of, this, of a place on the sidewalk that used to have, um, and the sidewalk facing the main, main street, that used to have like a little, I guess you'd call it a ramp area, but an incline so you could get up it if you had a wheelchair or a walker or something. And they have put a big plop of um, pavement there. It, I mean, obviously it's not finished or something. Do you know if they're going to leave that kind of stuff? And do you know when they might be doing the paving? They told me this morning that they were going to start next week and it'd be starting okay. from the south. And I'm sure when they get done, they're going to make it accessible to the sidewalks and in all around areas. That's they have to yeah, do I that. Yeah, I think they have to. So, yeah. well, I mean, I I never noticed that kind of stuff until I had to walk with a walker, and now I do. And 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 several people who came through the fair gate because I was on the gate at Harvest Fair all Saturday. Um, 
mentioned when you know asked me if, if i knew when we were going to start paving and if they were going to fix the sidewalk and i said well i'll ask at the select board meeting so yeah. okay thank yeah. you very much sorry to bother you guys yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you. And just another um, thing on the highway. I did go over to Gilead and look at that class, uh, that trail over there for the logger that goes out through on uh, Gilead Road, up and back on our trail, and and it, it's it looks to me like it's not a, any problem as far as uh, it's it's pretty flat out through there. And where they're going to put the landing is, is, or at least that's where I believe they're going to put the landing is on a flat area with, it's not going to erode or anything yeah. that I could see. So I, I don't see any issue with it if the guy wants to, look, you know, yard his logs out there and truck out through there. Yeah, as long as he um, fixes it, back. it. Yeah, yeah, and he will. Yeah. So, right. So that's taken care of. Do we have um, is Jeff here from the yes. energy coordinator? Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Uh, hello. Not really much of anything to report. Yeah, it's kind of a low energy evening here. The heat. <laughs> low energy evening. Uh, yes, yes. You know, all the energy was used up on Harvest Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Which came off pretty well, I thought. Yeah, it's a nice, nice. Yeah, um, yeah, we did run a. Uh, we did run an energy committee booth there, and there was a lot of uh, a lot of people stopped in. And as near as I can tell, we had maybe seven or eight hundred people at least come through the gate, and that doesn't mean that other people that didn't go through the sides. Um, and it was it, the weather was perfect. It was yep. just such a good. It was our thirty third fair. Um, anyway, sorry, I I I'm the producer of the fair, so I was really proud of how well. It came. <laughs> yeah, great. that was a great day. Good All right, so um, I'm sure we'll talk more about energy as the weather starts to get colder, right? Mm -hmm. Shaking his head, yes. He's shaking his head, yes. All right, <laughs> uh, moving on to the old business, we were talking about the um, master financial policy, and, and are we ready to adopt section sections one? Three and four did have um, Jim Barlow had um, yep. offered his his corrections yep. and improvements on that, and they they're got incorporated. Edited. Yep. yep. They're all edited and then. What do you guys think? Yeah, I was good with it. Yeah. Yep. There's with the changes. changes yep. So I'd move to uh, adopt sections one, three, and four of the. Um, this year's version of the master financial policy. I second that. No in favor? Aye. 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 All right. All right. <laughs> and um, are we also having Jim put his eyes on sections five, six, and seven? That's why I'm kind of want to ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it was two hundred twenty five dollars to have him review that, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you if you feel confident of spending you know that more money going forward well, or well the that um, way or the whole or what's the whole the point of value? adopting these policies are to make sure that we're we're um, following we're protocol the protocol so we don't get tripped up and right. and lose access to to fundings yeah. because we don't have the yeah. proper verbiage in place so i think it's probably money well spent i have a couple comments yeah. on them um, in section six it says in the middle of the page the first page items purchased as a set not bulk purchases and have an aggregate value of two thousand dollars or more I think that that $2,000 should be higher in today's day and age. That could be auto parts. So um, it just seems as though if you want to buy a computer, something that you're going to consider an asset and de capital asset and list it on our inventory and mm -hmm. depreciate and all that stuff, that maybe maybe we should jump up to three to 5000 for something like that. So that's saying in a. Um, it says two thousand. In but that's in the in the bulk. Yes. This is not. Um, Items purchased as a set. So this is in the next section. You said five. So you said this was in section six. six. Section okay. six. Yeah. I think I was okay with 
five. I just had a couple number six things. Okay. I've, and then I thinking about anything. item E on the third page about infrastructure assets are long lived capital assets. Um, I, I don't know that we uh, <clears throat> keep track. I know we have a culvert so survey, but I don't know that we have, you know, drainage lines and systems, fiber optics, beaches and boat ramps, docks and piers, or, you know, um, I'm not, I know we have some of that inventory, but I don't know that we have all of that under inventory as infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of our water budget? sewer is under that inventory and really we have a culvert inventory yep. we, we got we, a culvert inventory do we have a value on the culverts um i'm sure there is a, a number i don't have it off the top of my head i don't have it either and i don't know the water and sewer is all the maps are all up to date as far as what we have in the ground and pipe and right i just think we should but read that over and think about that scary. one yeah the replacement value no, you, you wouldn't oh yeah you couldn't no. even yes. begin to go with that no. and the culverts aren't our, aren't on our capital assets right? no we just no. have an inventory of where they are where they are so and the length let's just size. think about that whether we want to say that we need to have a value Line on every here. bridge and Perfect. culvert and mm -hmm. yeah. guardrail in our town oh. and this was a lot of these were pulled from other towns too, mm -hmm. so it's just right so kind of a boilerplate but yet yeah, we just want to customize I mean, it more maybe to we our should. town. I'm not saying we shouldn't. I'm just saying let's think yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 So we, we can review that part. I also had something on number 10. Um, number five. Uh, reserve fund expenditures. Uh, down on the end it says any expenditure on number one there. Reserve funds for any other purpose shall require the authorization of the majority of the voters at the annual meeting or town meeting. So I guess that means that anything. Any reserve fund expenditures? That is used for something uh, other for something than that other reserve than, fund. Oh, other than that reserve. I, I, yeah, which is. I don't know if we need that we or should really we? Have um, I think it should be. And why we, would, should be up to the voters. We used that when we sold the constable's cruiser and put the money into the general fund. Mm -hmm. yeah, we did. So that's the only that time I've encountered yeah. that situation. Yeah. But yeah, so I don't see where it hurts to have to that because it, it keeps the reserve funds reserved for for that purpose. What we okay. want to be. I just yeah. wasn't sure yeah. if I was reading it right or not, and I guess I wasn't. So yeah. that's all right. But, no. but that puts in a mechanism in place for if something comes up and we do need to shuffle the money around. We can, you know, not do it just ourselves, but at the town meeting. Right, or a special meeting. Yeah, yeah, or a special meeting. Okay. I'm good with it. So would you so, want us to... Um, I, I still think it'd be worth... Um, letting Jim take a look at it for a couple hundred bucks just and to I'll, I don't send it to him until we've all reviewed it just mm -hmm. so that we can get a lot of the editing done before yeah. we right. right and then yeah. like that question you just asked about is that an appropriate value to threshold right. you know, maybe, we should, we, maybe we want to change the terminology and make our life a little easier yeah right but we don't all right I had a so we're tabling this moves on right. well you you're know you've, yes. um, you've, um, Thank you. we're in the process of reviewing yes yeah. Yeah. so yeah so um do you have something else yeah I guess we'll, we can move into the public comment yeah um I just it, this is just a quick um last Tuesday the um, Rochester Stockbridge Unified District unanimously passed a motion to support the work of the committee, including going back to review their budget for funds to heat and power the building this year. That's the high school building. They made a pledge to work together with uh, the committee, which is doing a charitable drive, fundraising drive, um, to uh, make the commitment to keep the high school building heated for the winter. Um, so that was the the basic progress coming out of that meeting. And they've got a meeting right now. They're meeting right now, so all of this could change. <laughs> but, um, yeah, right. <laughs> that's how it stood up until 5.30 tonight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. And that's it for me. Yeah. Anybody on Zoom have anything they'd like to speak about? Nope. Um, there you have it. 29 minutes. <laughs> we get one of those every once in a while. Uh, move to adjourn. I second. All in favor? All right. Good night. Good night. Thank you.